Okay guys, today we are back in the Halloween office um, and since my house is still being worked on, I thought I would show you some more of just my collections on the shelves. This room is super empty right now because everything is downstairs. Um, it looks very, very different than what it usually looks like in the office, but um, I thought it'd be fun to just show you guys some more of this stuff. Ooh, this, this was just fixed and it's still flickering. Um, yeah, so I thought we could roll into the black hat collection. This is just some of my black hats. Um, some of my favorite pieces in the collection are black hats. Uh, clearly, I have a thing for black hats. Um, so let's just go through it and I'll show you guys each little piece. So this is a Johanna Parker ghost. <laughs> so this isn't technically a black hat, it's just on this shelf. This is also another Johanna uh, Parker piece. Um, I think this is a Transpack piece that she did. I think that was in maybe Marshall's last year. I just love her art. It's so good. Um, it's just oh, one of my absolute favorites. This is, of course, is another Johanna Parker piece here. This kitty with a cute little hat. I absolutely love this piece. It's just so cute. Like the texture on it is so cute. Love it, love it, love it. So those are my three pieces by Joanna Parker. Um, These pieces, I think are just like sort of home goods pieces. This is actually a lantern. You can put like a little lamp in it and it'll light up like a little light and it lights up here in the eyes. Um, This is just a really cool piece I've had for a number of years. This piece right here is like, it's missing an ear, but this is like a sort of clown piece. I'll move it out here so you guys can see it better. Let's pull this out here. Um, this this piece is just so stinking cute. It looks handmade. It looks like one of those really vintage pieces. This is definitely a piece I've had for maybe since like 2009. I might have found it in Tuesday morning or Home Goods Marshalls, one of those. But it just it looks so vintage and so handmade, um, and that's why I love it. I can't find the other ear. I can always make an ear to put on there. Um, but it's just so so cute. It looks really 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 old and really cute, and it's new. So I love that about it. So I love that piece. Let's put that back. And then I think this piece here, um, I think this piece is like another piece I found maybe at Tuesday morning or home goods. These are of course all replicas. Um, I just love like the sassy face on this one. So, so stinking cute. And a little baby and also just like the, patina on it. It looks like really old and I just love the way it's painted. So this is another piece maybe from 2009, 2008. Um, I feel like pieces back then, like reproductions whoop, back then were um, just really nice quality. Oops. Like I feel like this piece is from back then. That was really nice quality. This piece is newer. I think this may be from like 2018. This is definitely another Tuesday morning piece, I believe. Um, it definitely has Johanna Parker vibes. Like I feel like they were sort of using hers as inspiration. We know if we like that or not. I don't like people copying, but it has, it's, it has, it's different enough, I suppose. But, um, I just, I love again, the detail on it. It's really, really cute. So I got it. This one is a favorite piece. I'll bring this one out here. Oop. We'll put this on the desk so you guys can see it better. Um, yeah, this is another piece that was, oh, home goods. Let's see if you can find the year on here. 2009, I think, would be my guess. It was sometime around then. Um, I just like love how vintage it looks and also like a little JOL on it. Let's see if we can fix that up so you can see that better. Um, it's just so cute. It's a little trick or treat dress up as a black hat. What could be cuter? I just love the tail. I love everything about it. It's another older, older reproduction piece um, from Home Goods. It just really looks old and cool. And at the time, I remember I was really excited to find it. Um, yeah, I've had it on the mantle a couple times. Um, it's just so, so stinking cute. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that JOL. So this is definitely one of my ultimate favorite pieces in the collection. It's a black cat, but it's a, it's also a trick-or-treater. So, you know, it's fun. Yeah, I'll leave that here. Put that right there. Um, these next pieces, I think a few of them are from Michaels. This one I know is from Michaels. Um, just one of their sort of vintage lines. Maybe my guess would be like 2018-ish. If you all know the exact date, let me know. Um, I just love the JOL. I love the little hat with a little moon on it. Everything is so cute. Um, this piece is World Market. And this actually lights up with a flashing light. Um, and like the, I guess it's supposed to be a moon on the bottom. It, this doesn't have batteries in it right now, um, but it's really super cute. Look at that little face. It's so cute. I love the sort of paper mache quality to it. And also like these pieces, when you get these cool reproductions that go so well together, I feel like they're sort of, you know, old and just, just really, really beautiful. And I love that. I love 
excited about these reproductions. Um, this one here is another piece, I believe, doesn't have the tag on anymore, but I've had this for years and years. I believe this is another like Tuesday morning piece circa 2010-ish, 2009. It could be from like Home Goods as well. Um, the same sort of resin made with like a paper mache type of texture. And just look at that little skull. The skull with a little, I don't know what that is, treat inside of it. I'm not sure what that is, but um, so cute. And I love this pipe cleaner detail around here in the moss. So cute. I guess when I'm looking for black cats, I, I really like a whimsical quality to them. Um, Cause you can really see over here, they have that same sort of whimsical quality. I guess I'm sort of into that when it comes to black cats. Let's move these over so we can see them a little bit better here. Um, they definitely have like fun, happy faces. They're joyful. I just, I just love that. Love that about, I guess black cat figurines in general, which is probably why I collect them. And of course this one here, is my um, vintage horn, a little black cat. If you've seen my uh, one of my other vintage videos, this is in that. Um, that's so, so cute. And of course, this one is the famous Walmart kitty. I think this is from maybe 2017. Um, if y'all know, let me know. They had a couple other ones and this was the only one that I was able to find at that time period. Um, and I actually did a painting of this. It's in one of my, one of my prints. Uh, yeah, it was from Walmart. $6.99. Doesn't say the date. I, th I believe it was from around 2017. Um, I just think it's so, so cute. I remember seeing it on Instagram, just like loving it. And just the face is so interesting. It's so vintage looking. And um, the quality again, looks really, really cool. Like if you, if you pair it with these, um, it just, it looks like so vintage and so fun. So this is such a unique piece. So this was, it was in one of my paintings. You can buy a print of it um, in my shop, um, Halloween Hill Studio. That one is fun. And this is another vintage die cut um, of a black cat. And this is also in one of my vintage videos. So if you've seen that, you've seen that. Um, I just love this so much. Maybe it's from like the 50s. I'm guessing it was part of maybe like a candy container. Um, if y'all have information on this, let me know. I haven't been able to find this in any of my books. So um, it's just so, so stinking cute. This one here is definitely a Michaels piece. Um, I don't know if it says what year this was for him. Probably like a couple years ago. I don't know. But again, he's cute. He doesn't have like the quality of painting that these have. Like I feel like the patina of the older pieces um, really have that high quality. And this one, it, the paint quality, I mean, the, the paint quality at Michael's can be iffy anyway. But it'd be really, really fun to go in and sort of antique this and refine the paint job on it. That would be really fun to do. Um, but he, I just thought he was really adorable. And I love his expression. I love like the sort of bone pattern on his outfit. Um, and just sort of the, the crepe paper collar is really cute. You know, he's cute. He, he looks good. He looks good with a group. So I thought he was adorable. And this piece is adorable. Um, this piece right here is from Victorian Trading Company. And this one broke. I, I knocked it and he dropped the, um, dropped the JOL. He's supposed to be holding this JOL if you see that. So I need to fix that. I can just glue that back. But aren't they cute? Three little kitties like doing a little dance or something with their um, their little pumpkin pails. I just thought that was so adorable. I love cats. As you know, having Calico Critter Village, I love cats that are like dressed up. So I thought this was so, so cute. So cute. Yeah, so that is that shelf of black cats. And of course I have more scattered through here. Um, this is another piece, this like witch hat, this purple witch hat. I'll try to get a good angle where it's not a lot of shadow, but this um, piece is, is another Tuesday morning piece from around 2008. This is one of the first pieces I bought for my house. Um, it just has really, really cool details. The painting on it is beautiful. Um, if you can see that, the cat roll up close. It looks like it's hand carved. It just has a really good quality. And this, um, this, crow, this crow piece comes out. So you can like take it apart and then put it back in. I thought that piece was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Tuesday morning around 2009 would be my guess. I wonder if it still has the whoop, sticker on the bottom. Let's try to get it out. It does. Oh, it's from Home Goods. Oh my gosh, and I got it on sale. I don't know. Five dollars. Wow. Um, yeah. I love it. It is missing like a little spider that went here. I'm not sure where that, that fell off, but and it's carved. It's just, it's like carved in there. I just love the patina of that one. I think that one's really cool. Yeah. Um, then of course we have some Target felt kitties from a couple years ago. Um, 
just sort of little kitty. It's another Target, little kitty. I just, I have a thing for kitties. Another Target kitty there. More kitties. I'm gonna come over here and show you a couple more kitties on this side. Okay, so this is another piece that is older that I've had for a long time. This one is a Tuesday morning piece. Let's look at the bottom here. I love how I still have the stickers on the bottom. I guess it probably does not say the year or anything on that, but um, I just thought it was so cute. Also, sorry guys, I'm trying to hold it. Also, it's just, I love the patina of this one as well. It feels like it's an old paper mache. Um, I also have an owl that's in the center of my mantle this year and from like the same time period. Look at that little kitty face. Look at the crackle job. It's so beautiful. So old looking. I saw this piece in the store and I was like, this is beautiful. So I'm really, really happy to have this piece. Um, let's put it down here. It goes really well with the other pieces too, just because of the patina. Um, it just looks so, so beautiful. I love that little sweet face. Oh, so cute. So stinking cute. Um, and then this one I got a couple years ago, maybe 2021, 2020. And it is from Tuesday morning. It also lights up. I don't have any um, batteries in it right now, but he's so sweet. I saw that face and I was like, you're so sweet. So I definitely have a soft spot for kitties. There's more scattered in here. Um, like this one here. I think this is also a Tuesday morning one. Um, but they are so cute. So oh, there's another one. Yeah, I have a thing for kitties. So that is my kitty collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm hoping we're going to be back um, next week with more of my decor. I'm finishing up the decor. Um, but yeah, thank, I, thank you guys for stopping by. And I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing my kitty collection, enjoyed seeing everything. And um, yeah, keep on spooking. And I will check back with you next week, hopefully with more decor.